Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are on for the first time, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee, guys. I hope you're having an amazing Wednesday. I am having a great day. I wanted to stop by for just a few moments to do a quick video with you guys. Well, I don't know how quick it's going to be, but we're going to make it as quick as possible. We're going to be doing a home slash relaxation type basket, okay? So what I have before me, um, basically every item that I got that I'm going to be putting in this basket came from Dollar General except for the body wash, okay? And I'll um, let you guys know about that as we go um, about each thing, how much I paid, okay? Now, these are the actual um, purple dots that I got from Dollar General. And I paid $1 for these and the original price was $10, guys. So, of course, as I always tell y'all, clear the shelves, okay? These are some amazing boxes. That's what I, I just call them a box. I don't know what um, the professional name is for them. But um, bins, basins, whatever. <laughs> We're going to make a basket out of it, okay? Um, and always, I know I have new people following me, but we always, always use newspaper or gift wrapping paper to build the bottom of our um, gift, whether it's a basket, a mug, a box, whatever it, um, whatever it may be, okay? We're gonna use newspaper to um, build the bottom of it. Never use shred to build the bottom of your basket or whatever it is you're working on because it does not have enough weight or stability to hold your items up, okay? So you wanna make sure that your items are not sinking down in whatever container you're using and that when the individual customer or whoever you're giving or gifting the item to is able to see everything that's in the basket, okay? We don't want them to have to look down into it and try to figure out what it is, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and fill this up to the top. We're probably gonna put just a little bit more paper in it because a couple of the items that I gotta put in here are um, really heavy. So we wanna make sure, because after time, the um, the products that you have in here and the newspaper itself will start to um, sink down to the bottom of the box. So we wanna make sure that we have a lot of newspaper in here so that it, if it does drop down a little bit, it's still keeping your items at eye level, okay? And we're just going to come back in with this um, shipping paper that I just recycled from something else that I purchased. And we're just going to cover up our newspaper, okay? You can use gift tissue or anything of that sort just to come in and cover up your paper. I mean, you're really not going to see it anyway by the time you finish putting your items in where well, you shouldn't be able to anyway. We don't want to over flood each basket with items, but at the same time, we don't want to um, not have enough items in our basket, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this basket. This actually, this um, rug that I got came from Dollar General as well, and it was originally $6. We paid 60 cent for it, and we're gonna go right ahead and remove the tags off of all of our products that you're able to remove it, okay? Sometimes you have to um, actually cover the um, price up because it may not be a sticky or a peel off sign. It may be a sign that's embedded in the box or something. So if it is, or printed on the box, we wanna um, make sure that we cover it up with something, okay? All right, so we're gonna just stick this rug here. And I already know that I'm gonna have to put a piece of cardboard here, okay? And the reason when you have flimsy items like this, I'm gonna go ahead and get it as a matter of fact, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this. When you're using flimsy items in the back, okay? The items are just gonna sink down or fall down. Get you a piece of cardboard and stick it in the inside of here, okay? Stick it in the inside of here. If it's a picture that doesn't have that much stability, stick you a piece of cardboard, but wrap it up, of course, so that you're not able to see it, okay? So let's get the cardboard.
dab of glue right here at the top on the actual rubber part, rubber part of the um, the uh, rug, so it's not gonna damage it at all. And we're gonna go ahead and use that. If you have glue dots, you can use glue dots to help it adhere to the cardboard or whatever it is that you have, okay? If you're gonna be using glue, of course you don't wanna put enough up there that it's going to damage the actual product, okay? Um, here we have a Himalayan salt lamp and the top of this box, y'all, was damaged. I just took some of the vinyl paper that I got from Dollar Tree and just covered up the top of the box. It actually didn't mess up the product. The, the product is not damaged, just the box was, okay? And because I have to keep the item in the box, we're going to just go ahead and cover that. That's a little idea, a little trick. If you have a box that's damaged um, on the top or whatever, you can um, just lay a piece of vinyl or cut out you a piece of um, gift wrapping paper and put it on the top so that you're not able to tell, okay? We also got, oh, the Himalayan lamp. I paid um, 50 cent for this. And I actually paid 30 cent for this because it was an additional... Don't get me lying, y'all. I think I paid 60 cents for this. I paid a dollar for these, okay? Give or take a few cents. I think it was originally $10. And I think I got it at 90% off. I shopped so much. I, I know I didn't pay more than a dollar, okay? I was thinking about the brown dots where they had an additional 10%, but they, it wasn't that. I think I paid a dollar for these. This was um, $5, so I paid 50 cents for this. A cute little wreath that they can use to go on their door or hang on their wall. We're just gonna let it sit there like that. And then we're going to use this cute little green um, sign. And y'all, I actually paid a penny for this sign. This was one of the brown dots and I picked it up when it was a penny, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and stick that in there. And we may play around with this stuff and move it around some because I really don't know how I'm going to have everything stationed in here, okay? We're just going to play around with it just a little bit. Um, this is an actual sign. I paid a penny for this one as well. This was a brown dot from Dollar General. If you're new to my channel and you've never heard of penny shopping or you just all kind of new to you, follow some of my old videos and I will definitely show and tell you guys how to um, penny shop. These were originally $5. I paid 50 cents for these as well. Either 50 cents or a penny, okay? Because I got so many of them. Some of them I paid 90% off. And some of them I got when they had actually pennied out. So I'm not sure which one. So either way, anywhere between a penny and 50 cents, I paid for this, okay? So we're just going to stick that right in there. And these are some cute little home decorations they can put either like in their little spa room, in their little office, or whatever. So everything that I've shown you guys has came from Dollar General. This is the only thing, and if you've been following me, you've seen that this came from Walmart a couple days ago. And I think I paid like $1.60 for these. Some people were telling me that their Walmart had them for $1.00. So if you haven't been able to pick up on these, just go to Walmart and start scanning some of the Dr. Teal products. Some of them are on clearance and some of them are not. I can't tell you which ones are. I just know that that particular one right there is. And I got quite a few other ones as well. So this right here in a nutshell is the basket, okay? It's very, very cute, very simple to put together. We are going to actually put a little bit of glue here. You can use glue dots again. We're going to put a little bit of glue here and push this to the front of this so that it will stay stationary while we're wrapping it, okay? Now, this is the this is the cutest part of this basket to me, what we're getting ready to do now, okay? And this actual sign I got from Dollar Tree, and we're just going to glue it to the front. You can actually drill it to the front of this basket, or you can just put a little bit of glue. I'm putting a little bit of glue that way to give the person that's buying it um, an option or whoever they're giving it to gives them an option to um, take <clears throat> take this off if they want to, okay? So we're not going to put too much glue, but I'm going to put enough so that it will stay, okay? Hot glue is very temporary, 
So, like I said, if they want to take it off, they'll definitely be able to and just peel the um, hot glue off because it's not going to be a big thing, y'all. And like I said, if you want it more permanent, you can definitely drill it. Okay, y'all, so the basket is now completed. Um, I had a time because I had to go back and take the home sign off because I had put it on crooked at first. So we went ahead and took it off and we re replaced it and it's as best as I could get it up there. I didn't measure it or anything, but it's back up there. And let me bring the camera up so y'all can see some. Here is the completed look. Might as well get the thumbnail while I'm in there. Okay, so here is the completed look, guys. This burlap ribbon just set it off just so, so great, guys. You have the little burlap right there in the picture frame. It just set it off really, really well. I use the um, table scarf that you see here um, in place of the actual shred. And somebody had asked on a video today, where did I purchase it from? Um, I got it from Hobby Lobby with the spring clearance sale. So I think I paid maybe like 59 or 69 cent for a whole row. Okay, if I paid that much. But anyway, it's 90% off. But anyway, guys, I hope you love this video, guys. This is an amazing basket. This is something that I wouldn't mind getting. Like I said, the items in it, you can actually place it in your office, in your little spa room, your little getaway room. You got your Dr. Teals to relax. And I just think it's an amazing basket, guys. Listen, if you've been following me for a, a while, I appreciate you for going back watching my videos. A lot of you have been telling me that you have been binge watching. I absolutely appreciate that, guys. Make sure that you're not skipping through all the ads, please. I know it's a little hard not to, but make sure that you're watching some of the ads because that's actually how I get paid on the channel, okay? Make sure that you are watching the ads and that you are giving the video a thumbs up, okay, guys? Love you so very much. And until the next video, get your money, honey, and fill your bag. And I know some of y'all going to say, how much are you going to charge? I don't know as of yet, but it will be up in the money, okay? I will let you guys know. Actually, we're going to do a video next week of pricing all of the baskets that I've made. We're going to actually do a video together, okay? See you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. Okay, y'all, so those of you that have been wanting a more interactive setting with me, I have a class that's going to be offered this Saturday, and the price, I believe, is set at $25. Make sure that you register for this class. The link will be in the description below, below bar below. Also, guys, make sure you're shopping FeliciaWinstead.com. Thank you so much, guys, for all of your support. See you on the next video. Bye.